Good afternoon, this is Deb Amlin for the New York Times. Uh, welcome to today's solving of the New York Times crossword. Uh, we have a tricky one by Ed Sessa today, and I hope you'll join me because uh, I just got back from vacation, and this one's new to me, so I'm going to need all the help I can get. Please uh, write your comments uh, in the, uh, please write your best guesses in the comments section, and let's get started. Um, as always, the first thing I do when I start a crossword puzzle is I look for the gimmies. I look for the things that I can drop in right away. Um, I know that my first gimme for this one would be 21 across blank coyote. Uh, a tune, and so the only coyote I know of from the cartoons is Wild E. Coyote. So I'm going to put that in Wild E. Coyote, and there we are, we're started. Um, let's see, um, what else have we got? Uh, people are saying hi in the comments already. Hi, everybody, I hope you all had a happy and a healthy new year. Welcome back. Uh, Vicky Hart says one across is Sachs, which is correct. Uh, half of a Wall Street firm since 1882. That firm would be Goldman Sachs. So let's put, and Goldman definitely doesn't fit in there, so let's put in Sachs. Um, Troy Torreson has guessed Lynch. You know what? I think that we, uh, I think we've put in. Uh, a sax already, but let's see. You know, it, you could be right. Well, uh, let's try doing some of the crossings. Bean used to make tempeh. Well, I know that tempeh is made from the soybean or soya, as it there. So we we're pretty sure that this is this one across is going to be sax. If soya is correct, uh, speed skater Ono would be Apollo. Oh no. And so we've pretty much confirmed the one across. Uh, let's see. Troy Tarson says 24 across is pumpkin. Uh, well, nope, I don't think it's pumpkin. Headless Horseman's prop. Uh, and I just want to draw your attention. We have some um, we have some starred clues here today. That means we have to pay attention to what's going on in those starred clues. Um Let's see. Mary Morrissey Donegan says eight down is linens. Let's check that one out. Tablecloths and napkins. Uh, possibly. The problem I have is that we don't have enough room for linens uh, in this space, and it's most likely going to be a plural. So let's reserve that for now. Um, let's see. Lauren Sinnenberg says three down is cruel, like Vlad the Impaler. Uh, yep, I would say that that would he was probably a fairly cruel person. And let's see if we can figure this out, the rest of this section out. She played Annie Lee and Selma. That would be Oprah Winfrey. Um, let's see. Tricked is had. Um, let's see, Dan Payne says four down is had, I agree with that, robbed of the spotlight, um, I, I'm going to say that was shown up. Um, now we have a very interesting starred clue here, put down to an ignorant person. Um, it's U-D-O, so I'm not really sure what we've got going on here. Christine Montanaro Weber says, 24 across is O Lantern. Now this is interesting. Check this out, you guys. Headless Horseman's Prop. Now, I think Troy Torreson had said pumpkin, and he wasn't wrong. He wasn't completely wrong. This entry is, in fact, O Lantern, but where's the jack? We don't have, uh, we don't have a jack O Lantern. Could it be in this black square here? Jack O'Lantern, and that would be a ho headless horseman's prop, isn't it? And that's a pumpkin, a Jack O'Lantern. Let's 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 reserve that. Let's put that in our memory banks and see if maybe we have some other starred clues that will uh, reveal whether or not that Jack is actually hiding in the black square. 
Um, Maria Ginsburg and Laura Sinnenberg agree that 17 across is you don't know because the clue is put down to an ignorant person. And here again, it would be you don't know what? Huh. So, Nagroma Enod, and please forgive me if I mispronounce your name, says you don't know question mark. And, you know, we, I think we all have a question mark in our head right now because what does you don't know mean? It doesn't mean anything by itself, but if we added Jack at the end of it, as if it were in this black square, the entry would be you don't know Jack, which was also a very popular online game. Uh, Remy Sanusi says 34 across is Orman. Let's take a look at that. Financial guru sues. That would be correct. And uh, some people are saying that 18 down is night. Nick at night. Correct. Good job, you guys. Uh, a lot of people are agreeing on Nick at night. Uh, Jules June says 8 down is linen. I'm going to, yes, as a matter of fact, I think that's correct. Someone had said linens before, and that is correct as well. But if you think about it, linen can also be a plural. And we don't have enough room for that S, so the answer is actually linen. Let's see if we can figure out some more here. Comics artist. Well, somebody who works in comics could be an inker. Uh, what else have we got? Michael Nabob says 19 across is win. Let's take a look. Bingo! Um, win could be could be correct. Let's put that in there. I don't I don't know if it's correct or not. Let's let's do some crossings and find out. Mine to Mimi. Well, Mimi is a French name, so I'm gonna bet that when you have a clue like this, mine to Mimi, that the answer will be in French. Not quite sure what how to say mine in French. So if we have any French speakers out there, please let me know. Aaron Green says 13 down is Ritz. Let's see. Scalloped edged cracker. Yep. Scalloped edge cracker is definitely a Ritz. So let's take out win. And it's not wrong if you guess and the answer turns out to be correct, incorrect. I still want to hear your guesses. I, I make mistakes all the time, so it's not a it's not a bad thing. The trick is to keep guessing till you get it right. And so the scalloped edge cracker is rich, which everything is better on, I'm told. Um, Robin Simonson Brueggemann says 15 across is on ice. Let's see. How fish is shipped often. Uh, okay, let's put that one in, on ice, and let's see if we can figure out what this one is. Nixon in 1995, or Lincoln in 2012. Hmm, interesting. I'm not really sure. Let's see, uh, one working on hands and knees. Uh, I'm going to guess, I'm going to throw a guess out there. I'm going to say it's a tiler because people who install tiles work on their hands and knees for the most part if you're installing a floor. Prefix with conscience, conscious is echo. Uh, mended as rugs would be rewoven. And so tiler I think is right. Here we have Nixon in 1940. 95 or Lincoln in 2012. I don't know of any word that begins with T-O-T-L-E. So I'm going to bet that as much as we want the fish to be shipped on ice, it's actually in ice. And we have the word title here. Uh, Steve Chernick says 31 down is able. Let's take a look at that one. Able Tisfaye is also known as R&B's The Weekend. Correct. Uh, shout out to The Weekend. Um, a lot of people are agreeing with that. Rusty Harrison says 26 across is they. That's an interesting entry here. Part of the Yiddish phrase of dismay. Oy vey. I, that, that would be correct to me. Um, and I'm, you guys are spinning fast, uh, spinning by pretty quickly. So if I miss your, uh, if I miss your guess, please forgive me. Um, let's see. Deborah Ann agrees 10 down is rewoven. Uh, Sullivan Dawn says 27 across is Q. Let's see. Prompter. Well, 
okay, it's it's actually cueer, but I'll I'll agree with that. Uh, somebody who prompts is somebody who cues, um, and that means I think that Nixon in 1995 or Lincoln in 2012 refers to their film roles, so they would be title role. Um, blank above, I'm going to bet that's a cut above. Um, Lena Holmes agrees about they. Kate Goodlett says rewoven. Leonor San Santelanes says clue words that go with Jack. Wow. Okay, well, you're way ahead of us. Let's keep that in mind. Uh, Sarah McClutchy. Hi, Sarah. Uh, says 31 across is act up. Let's see. Throw a hissy fit. Yep. Yep, ACT UP is an organization, but it also means uh, throw, to throw a hissy fit. Rusty Harrison says 23 across is fry. 23, oh, I think you mean 23 down. Stephen of V for Vendetta. You know what? I love Stephen Fry also. Uh, it happens to be Stephen Ray, who appears very often in crossword puzzles because of all his all the vowels in his name. And somebody before had guessed that the Bosock Slugger, also known as Big Poppy, is Ortiz, which I don't follow baseball, but I will I will put that in there. I I will agree with you. Uh, Lisa James says 39 down is SME. Let's take a look. I'm not quite sure what SME is. Small enterprise. Well, yeah, um, but note that we have a question mark here. And if you are just getting into crossword puzzles, the question mark means that this clue here, small enterprise, is not necessarily what you think it is. There's some wordplay afoot here. So what we want is something that means enterprise, but is shortened or small. The answer to this one, I'm going to bet you, because I've been doing this for a long time, is biz. Right? Biz stands for enterprise or business, and it's a shortened version of it. Lindsay Leon says 38 is boot. Let's take a look. A uh, tool for removing heavy footwear, and that's a starred clue, so I'm going to guess that you're correct. But it's not just a boot. It's a boot jack. Jack, you have to imagine that the word jack appears inside this black square, and we're going to find out why. Okay, this, this is highlighted here because it's part of the theme, and we've even Outline, we've even highlighted the theme entries just to give you a little more help to see where the theme is. So we have You Don't Know Jack. 19 across is Bingo. Um, not sure what that is yet. Um, 38 across is Boot Jack. 39 across is a comic actor slash card game, or a hint to the answers to the starred clues. So the comic actor, since we have Jack here and BL here, I'm going to bet you that the answer is black, as in Jack Black. And then we have the card game, which is Black Jack. So we have Jack Black Jack. And that's, in fact, what we do have here, because the squares are black, and there's Jack inside them. And 40 across is a slender tree of northern North America, which is a jack pine. Let's see what else we have. John Kupfer says 39 across is black jack. That's correct. Erin Green says 39 across is black. Everybody's agreeing. Jessica Malpal, Mary Stocks says 39 is bluff. Let's see, 39. Well, you know what? We, I think we pretty much already agreed that it's jack black which is the comic actor, and then the card game up here is Black Jack. So we're going to leave that. I think that's pretty, I think that we're right about there. Gibble gabble. I love that word. That's uh, an old-fashioned word that means to yak, or, oops, wait a minute, maybe it doesn't, because Y-N, let's see, brewing agents. Not really, oops, you know what? That's a mistake on my look. See, I make a mistake too. The brewing agents are yeasts. Right, because if you're going to ferment or brew something, you need some wheat, uh, some yeast. Uh, let's see. Arjun Gupta says 19 across is jackpot, and that would be correct because we have jack in this black square and pot. Oops, sorry, pot. 
and jackpot means bingo. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can get 11 down. Anybody? Ineffectual exec. Oh, I bet I know what this one is. An ineffectual exec is a an empty suit. There you go. All right, so we just have a little bit of this corner to fill in, but other people are saying uh, 36 down is McDonald's. Let's see, 36 down, company for which about one in eight U.S. workers has worked. Isn't that an interesting factoid? One in eight people in the U.S. has worked for McDonald's in one way or another. Um, you can learn a lot from the from the uh, crossword puzzle. Today I learned about uh, a stat that one in eight people has worked for McDonald's. Uh, Rosanna Coyne says 16 is MMI, 16 across. Copyright year for Shrek and Monsters, Inc., two of, one, two of my favorite movies, uh, came out in 2001. And let's see, eye level sensor. Oh, I love this clue. What can you think of that might be something that senses and is at eye level? That would be an ear, right? Because your ears sense sound. And we know that this is correct because in French, the word mine is a moi. Um, Becky Quinn Gottlieb agrees that a moi is 12 down. A lot of people are agreeing on McDonald's. Sharon Mercoliano, thank you. We think it's a good idea too, and we're always happy to have new solvers join us. Uh, Patrick Pan says 40 down is pear. Let's see. Uh, pear, fruit that is sometimes poached. Yep. I, uh, I love me a good poached pear. Um, Aaron Green agrees with that. Uh, sorry, you guys are, are really, really on killing this thing. Uh, Carolyn Kozojed says 59 across is of all trades. Let's take a look. 59 across, versatile worker. Well, we most likely have Jack in here, so let's put let's try that. Of all trade. Oops. Sorry, sorry about that, you guys. A D E S trades. Good job. Nice. Um, Becky Quinn Gottlieb says one way to say mine in French is a moi. We've got that. Rona Malakoff says 32 down is code. Let's see. Longtime companion for same-sex partner once. And that's true, uh, especially in, in, uh, on the news. If somebody had a same-sex partner and they couldn't talk about it at one point, it was code Longtime companion was code for same sex partner. Um, Nathan Roy, yes, moi is how we say mine in French. Hope Savaria Safford says 44 across is Les Mis, and I know a lot of you had already typed that in. Uh, musical set in France informally, and yes, that's correct, it's called Les Mis. Um, Magda jo Jackson says 49 is Monterey. 49. Quesadilla cheese. Oh, absolutely. One of my favorites. Monterey. Thank you very much. Um, Michael Plona says 43 down is The Crow. 1994 Brandon Lee action film. I wish he was still around. The Crow. That's correct. Thank you. Uh, Maria Maria says 30 down is seen in public. Yep, that looks about right to me. Let's put that in, and let's let's see if we can finish off this this corner. It may be pulled on a road. Let's see. Hmm. Nickname for Tony. Uh, let's go down here. Wyoming's Teton Range, and so I'm going to guess that you know, you might think that this clue, it may be pulled on a road, stands for something that you yourself are pulling, like a, a wagon, but I, it's actually not. Uh, I think here the nickname for Tony is Tino, and the answer to it may be pulled on a road is a Yui or a U-turn. Terry Rogers says 49 down is Miata. Uh, let's see. Sporty two-seater. Okay, let's put that one in. Miata. Uh, Emma Howard says 52 down is yield. 52 down, stock figure. 
Yeah, this, the yield could be part of the stock figure. Absolutely, why not? Uh, 51 stop at, not sure, Vardalos of my big fat Greek wedding was definitely Nia. And uh, let's see, other people are agreeing that 30 down is seen. Um, Aletha Wolliver says 67 across is Wanda. Stand up comic Sykes, absolutely Wanda Sykes. Um, some people are saying that 55 is Isaac. Let's take a look at that. Oh yes, definitely Isaac Mizrahi of fashion, Isaac. Look at this, we are almost killing this. I know some people have been typing in that 46 across is OSHA. Um, enthusiast, I know some people typed in, uh, commented that it's Fiend. Uh, let's see if we can get this long one. For, write and send quickly as a letter. Hmm, not sure. Um, they're good at drawing kids. Uh, not sure about that one. Ice cream maker Joseph. Well, the ice cream that appears in the New York Times crossword puzzle quite often is Edie's, which I believe is called something else on the West Coast. If you guys are on the West Coast, let me know what Edie's is, I, you know, on your side of the country. So I'm going to guess this is Joseph Edie. Um, let's see. Uh, 51 down, end on. Danielle Larson says, LOL, end on. Let's take a look. 51 down, stop at. Yeah, I, I think that's that's perfectly uh, a perfectly cromulent guess. Let's let's see what else we have. Oh, solo, sole mio, I think. And let's see. Yeah, ooh, that's not a great clue. Fat as a pig, but okay, it's it works as in as a no longer at anchor would be a C. So I guess end on is correct. Ivan Bernardo says fifty down is Osler. Let's see, 50 down. William Osler, physician who championed bedside training. I'll buy that. Um, what else? You guys are, are doing great with this. 42 down is fire off. You know what? That makes a lot of sense. Thank you for that. Fire off. And let's see, 63 across roasted in a way would be maybe fetid. And uh, 66, bases of nightmares would be fears. And figure on a rate sheet would be fees. So we know those are correct. And look at this. We have one more little corner. Come on. We can, we can, we can jack this, you guys. They're good at drawing kids. Let's see. Sarah McClutchy says 33 down is toy stores. Stores. Sounds good to me. Um, Robert. Ewan's Calb says 45 down is maw, gaping mouth. Yep, maw is another word for that. Uh, Carolyn Thomas, thank you very much. Edie's is Dryer's Ice Cream on the West Coast, so now we know. See, you can learn a lot from crossword puzzles. Um, let's see. Uh, Dana Bell says 53 down is cover cuts. Let's see, 53 cut covering. Uh, well, I don't know. I'm thinking that's going to be scar or scab or something, but let's come back to it. Former Maine Senator Olympia something. Anybody from Maine? Who's your senator? Um, Semenyun says 54 is Navy. Let's see. Shade of blue. I, I, you know, why not? Let's put that one in. This is probably going to be... Olympia snow then, I would guess. Let's let's see. Fifty-eight trunk item. Uh well it's starred, so we know it's gonna end in jack, and so I'm gonna say that's probably a car jack. Uh what else? Iris Martin agrees with snow. Um Aneke Irwin agrees with snow. Mary Paramount wants wants the last answer to be scab. Let's see. Cut covering. I would guess you're you're probably right. Um, let's see. <laughs> it's not Dukakis. It's definitely snow. Um, and we have navy for the shade of blue. So 53 down. 
Um, Clement Hasser says gaze, but we're, we're looking for the covering to a cut. So that's a, either going to be a scab or a scar. And 62 across is New York City's third or fifth, which would be Avenue. And ending with fly and drive, I think you're correct. It's definitely scab. The last letter is B for buys. And look at that, you guys. We've solved another Thursday New York Times crossword puzzle. So if anybody tells you that they're too hard or you can't solve it, you tell them that you got on the internet and group solved a crossword puzzle in a Thursday yet, which is pretty hard. With, uh, with Deb Amlin, and I hope you'll join us uh, at Wordplay, the crossword uh, discussion column of the New York Times, where they're every day helping people become better solvers. Thanks very much for your time, everybody. Have a great Thursday, and I'll see you here next week.